Well, this is the first time I've ever walked through a colon. What did you learn from that walk through colon? Well, I learned that I never wanted to have colon cancer, that's for sure, and all of the things that we learned of how to prevent it, that's what's so important today. The colon exhibit always gets large responses from people. The purpose of our event today is to spread the word that colon cancer can be prevented and if it's caught early, in the early stages, 90% cure rate and five year survival rate. More than 100 people attended Torrance Memorial Medical Center's third annual colorectal cancer screening and lecture. The medical team handed out free take-home screening kits and the latest life-saving information about the nation's second most deadly cancer and how to prevent it. Over 90% of colon cancers are diagnosed above age 50, and it's very important that you all get screened when you turn 50 years old. There's multiple ways to, to get screened for colon cancer. Uh, one is to get a colonoscopy, which is uh, the gold standard, because um, that's the only way you can actually detect polyps um, and actually take them out. But uh, there are also other alternatives that are less invasive. Uh, there are uh, take-home stool kits where you could just take a little stool sample and send it uh, to the lab and they can see if there's any blood in the stool. And if there's any blood in the stool, that might be a sign that you might have colon cancer. So I want people to really start to think about their family history. I think that's a really important thing is to start asking your family members, who's had cancer in our family? What age were they diagnosed at? Do I have any of these red flags for a hereditary cancer syndrome that I should be referred and get evaluated to see if genetic testing might be something that would be important for me and my family members? There is a genetic component. Um, if you do have a first degree relative with colon cancer, you're at twice the amount of uh, risk as the normal healthy patient. There's also um, you know, environmental factors. So the food you eat, uh, like, such as a lot of red meat, processed meat. It has been shown that 47% of colorectal cancers can be prevented by maintaining a healthy weight, by staying active, by eating less red meat and eating more of a uh, plant-based diet. What are the symptoms? How would you know you might have this? Actually, a lot of times people have no symptoms, which is a scary thing. So just get screened. That's the bottom line. 